Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next set of problems, we are making our way towards digital systems. And for this first problem, we have a number in octal, which we have to convert to decimal. And we're given one of four choices, multiple choice question. We have to choose the, the closest answer. And like I said, this is uh, an introduction into um, digital systems. So from here on, for the next set of videos, we're going to be doing Boolean logic, converting between decimal and binary, binary and octal, things like that. And um, we'll get into more more complicated circuits like SR latches and JK flip-flops, things like that. Um, but for this video, we're going to keep it simple and um, just convert between decimal and octal. So uh, pause the video, as always. Uh, take a crack at it, and uh, we'll go over the answer in a bit. So, to solve this, there uh, there are a few different ways to solve this, but um, the way I did it was I found um, 23 um, octal in decimal, and then I found 24 octal in decimal, and then I just took the average of the two. There is a way to um to deal with with decimals uh, but uh it, it's a little bit more complicated and you know you, you deal with exponents so this worked for me but the easiest of all um, is to plug it into your calculator if you invested in a good calculator then um, this problem is just a matter of plugging it in and, and solving for it i know for the casio that I have linked in the description um, below um, can definitely handle this pretty easily. Um, so the way I, I did it, you know, or I would do it if I was taking the test would be I would just plug in uh, 23 in, into the Casio calculator, plug in 24, and then take the average of the two. And the reason for that is um, the Casio calculator doesn't let you do decimals. So um, I would just plug in 23, 24, and, and then take the average of the two. Now, for those of you guys that don't have that luxury, we're going to do it out by hand. And so for this first one, 23, the way we do it is first know what an octal is. I mean, the um, an octal takes digits 0 through 7, so it's 8 digits. Um, decimal, as you know, takes digits 0 through 9. You know, decimal 10 octal 8 and so we want to convert this to decimal so we need the proper base unit which is going to be 8 and so if we split the digits here left and right and I'll write 24 here as well and then we start from right to left you know this is this is 8 to the 0 power and this is 8 to the 1 and so we would then multiply 3 times um, 8 to the 0, which is 3. And then do the same for the next set of digits. 2 times 8 to the 1. 8 to the 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. And then what we do in order to find decimal is that we just add these two together. And when we add those two together, we get 19. So that means that 23 in octal is equal to 19 in decimal. And then we can do the same for the 24. Um, you know, 8 to the 0, 8 to the 1. And if we had more digits going um, to the left there, um, you would continue on. 8 to the 2, 8 to the 3, on uh, onto as many digits as you had. And so for this, 8 to the 0 is 1 times 4. 1 times 4 is 4. And then you're going to add it to 8 to the 1 is 8 times 2, again, is 16. And this gives us 20. And so that tells us that 24 to the 8 is equal to 20 in decimal. And so now we have these two numbers here in decimal, and we simply can take the 
the average of them and get 19.5. And that is our closest answer. Um, and here you can see they, they tried to trick you by putting in 19.4, but the answer is 19.5. So did you get that? Uh, let, me, let me know in the comments below. And until then, enjoy engineering.